Welcome to Exam Assure. Today we will be discussing the syllabus in detail for the exam of architectural assistant which will be conducted by the Delhi Development Authority. So in the previous video we have discussed about the exam, the nature of the exam, the eligibility criteria, had an overview of the syllabus as to basic what uh, content or what type of questions are there. We've discussed the exam pattern and its marking scheme as well and the important dates. So today we will be talking about the syllabus in detail. Now as far as the exam is concerned or the kind of questions that are concerned, we can divide it into two parts that is part one and part two or part A and part B where part one is going to be about the discipline that is of architecture. So you will in part one of the paper, you will have questions related to architecture. Whereas in part two, there will be questions related to reasoning, quantitative aptitude, general awareness and English language. Now, as far as the syllabus is concerned for part one, it can be divided into broad subject categories like architectural design, building construction and surveying, structures, professional practice, which also includes your building norms and bylaws, then building services, environmental studies, history of architecture, computer applications, and architectural graphics. We'll just look at them in detail in the further slides. So as far as architectural design and theory is concerned, right from what we study at our graduation level in design classes, all of that is included like scale, proportion, balance, emphasis, all the elements and principles of design is what one needs to focus on. Likewise, scale and proportion is something very, very important. If you see the previous year questions also, you will get an idea about it. Other than that, we have architectural scale, programming, programming in architectural design, site planning, uh, circulation, so on and so forth. Also this year, if you compare to the previous two papers, this year they have added urban design and project management as a part of the syllabus. So this is specifically mentioned in the syllabus uh, regarding urban design. So you can expect questions related to urban design as well this time in the exam. For building construction, primarily you have building materials, surveying methods, estimation, surveying, so on and so forth, building technology. Again, details related to staircase, door, windows, uh, schedules, so on and so forth can be expected. Likewise, even the masonry construction, masonry detail, building materials like brick, stone, timber, so on and so forth are very, very important to be known. This also includes the part of survey where we see types of surveying, methods of surveying that are used. So one can be prepared with that as well. As far as structural design is concerned, one needs to know about the shear force, bending moment, center of gravity, forces, distribution of load. Along with that, the standards, the Indian standards that are there are also important. Under professional practice, it is more about the building norms and approvals and bylaws. So since it's the exam conducted by DDA, so knowing the master plan of Delhi is important, the building bylaws in Delhi. Other than that, very, very important is the national building code, fire safety norms, yes, and universal accessibility guidelines. So this, for this, one can refer the CPWD guidelines also on universal design which have been very well put up. So you can look it up on the net as well. For building services, right from your water supply, drainage, plumbing, uh, rainwater uh, management, even solid waste management, your uh, HVAC, fire, safety, lighting, acoustics, all of these what we learn at our graduation level, all these basics are very, very important. As far as history of architecture again is concerned, uh, the syllabus mentions in detail about uh, the history topics that one needs to cover. 
so right from history at the indian subcontinent it's very well divided rather in the syllabus they clearly put across a specification of what you need to know from the architecture and the western world so both all the kind of civilizations indus valley mesopotamian egyptian etc all are important greek architecture roman gothic renaissance modernism post modernism all of that and even the temple architecture in india is something that is very very important so even here you can see they have also asked questions regarding jain temple architecture the dravidian uh, temple architecture and so on and so forth in the previous years other than that works of contemporary architects now this also has been specifically mentioned this year in the syllabus if you go through the syllabus you will get an idea so uh, they've clearly mentioned the names of the architects also uh, what which one needs to focus on other than that you have computer applications so now in this again the questions that are asked are usually what we use uh, the kind of softwares that we use and we use it on a daily basis the commands that we use on a daily basis questions are very much related to that also the kind of questions that have been seen in the previous years are more or less based upon autocad itself so you can look into that as well in a uh, little more detail maybe focus more on the autocad commands as well other than that you have basic architectural graphics where you one needs to know uh, what are orthographic projections details about lettering details about sheet sizes so they've asked about uh, what uh, a3 size paper in the previous year uh, questions so you need to be thorough with this also they've also asked about uh, graphic symbols likewise so you can be prepared with this now that is for part 1 coming to part 2 like they've already very clearly defined it it's going to be reasoning quantitative aptitude general awareness and english language so every year what they do is uh, there are 40 questions so 10 questions for each of these so you will have 10 questions on reasoning 10 on aptitude 10 on general awareness and 10 on english language so this is a trend that was seen in the previous year papers also so you can uh, uh, look into this as well do not ignore aptitude or these 40 marks because these can, this can be actually a game changer so we uh, because this these uh, four points or reasoning and all of this can actually give you a good lead in the score and probably help you secure a seat as well so focus on this also don't ignore these four now if you see we've already discussed the exam pattern and the marking scheme but we'll just go through it again so the total number of questions will be 120 now out of this 80 questions will be on your part 1 or part a and 40 questions will be on part 2 like we just saw so part 2 is your reasoning and aptitude part and part 1 is going to be your architecture part so you have one mark for each question with a negative marking of 0.33 for every wrong answer that is given and the time is of 2 hours that is 120 minutes so basically you will have 1 minute for every question that is given to you right now coming to the important part and analysis of the previous papers of 2019 and 2020 exam of architectural assistant if you just go through this chart you will get a clear idea as to what you need to focus on once you start your preparation so if you look over here right architectural design you have seven questions in 2019 and 13 in 2020 likewise if you just look at the chart the main focus of a candidate who is studying maybe you you are studying on your own let's say for example what you need to focus on or finish off first in your syllabus is building construction because if you see 21 and 18 questions each year which is a lot and very very scoring 
after that we can go on to history of architecture very very important 10 13 questions then you have building structures in line with 12 and 9 questions each year and building services so if you want to prioritize your study what i would do or what any buddy any serious candidate can do is first give building construction your priority along with that you have history these two are very very important and then these two are second priority so now these four are the most important ones that you need to focus on but that does not mean that you ignore other subjects so first you finish off these because maximum number of questions are asked from these right once you have finished covering this syllabus or this part of your preparation building construction history and so on then you can you can go on to study your architectural design graphics climatology also sorry you can also include architectural design with this right now if you see the kind of questions they are majorly focusing on right architectural design building construction building services structures and history of architecture these i would say as an architect are one of the most important subjects that we study also at graduation level and hence since the exam is for an architectural assistant the focus is more on these so you can finish off these subjects first and then move on to second prioritize the remaining subjects right so you have graphics you have climatology environment estimation and also don't forget to study your urban design and project management this year because that has been included in the paper in the syllabus this time okay softwares i think it's more about your hand skills what you study or what you use every day if you're practicing or maybe even in college right so it's more related to that so hope uh, and again with that we have part b like i said 10 questions for each of them so do not ignore this as well so i hope uh, this was very helpful for you and hope it was informative and helps you in your preparation just a reminder that 2nd of july is the last date for application for the exam so do fill in your form at the earliest do not wait till 6 pm on 2nd july so i hope um, these details were helpful thank you do let us know in the comment section if you would want us to share any other more details with you guys for any exam or any preparation and all the best Thank you.